Well, the main reason for detaining uh, those patients because all of the 100 plus uh, patients, they all are involved uh, in some way with the political conflict in Thailand. And um, uh, just to be sure that uh, we do not, uh, you know, uh, treat any one or any particular person better than the others, we uh, emphasize that we are neutral and our impartiality is, um, you know, as stated. So we, um, we, we, we do, at the, at the, I mean, the same thing to everyone. How long do you intend to hold them for? Um, not longer than, according to um, you know the the army force, uh, not longer than uh, a week. The reason that we detain them um, just to, to make, I mean, just to be to be clear that uh, uh, even though we use the word was detained, of course, but the condition we provided to them is a VIP treatment. We provide all kind of facility, good food and uh, a good environment. We just want to, them to stay away from the tension they have at their home or uh, you know they. Just, they want, they want, we, we want them to take some time to think over of the situation and become more relaxed. So are you trying to tell us that you are doing this for their own protection? Um, I think we give them some time. But not, not really the own protection because um, uh, security situation in Bangkok or in Thailand or in Thailand is quite I mean, a lot better now. But we just want them, we just want to give them some, some free time to relax not to uh, be uh, pressured by any particular reason related to the incident. You know, when they stay relaxed, have nothing much to do. Well, I'm sure they'll have plenty to do because you've taken away their means of communication and taken them away from their lives and their families. But are you also hoping that they may come to some kind of agreement that there could be a political compromise? That could be one um, possibility that might happen out of this situation. Yes, you are right. Colonel, how long then, if that doesn't happen, does the army intend to rule Thailand for? Uh, just to be more precise again, we are doing this not because of we want to seek, uh, we are seeking for the power. We do, uh, what we have done is for the sake of the country, for the sake, the good sake of the Thai people. Yes, but how long and, uh, do you we, intend to run the country us, for? How long will you do this for? We understand that uh, at the international, you know, uh, implication, we want to make it as brief as we can. Talking about the duration, we are not um, define what the duration or um, we cannot tell what, what, what duration, how long will it take, but it depends on the situation. Situation and the surrounding factor would be a factor to define the duration. Are you detaining opponents of this coup elsewhere in the country, not just in Bangkok? And do you intend to keep doing that? Because we've seen protests on the streets of Bangkok today, people who are angry that uh, there is not going to be an election and that Thailand now has essentially military rule. We are doing this only for, to, uh, with those who are uh, considered to be a core leader or those who have a major influence on the, over the conflict. How do you respond, Colonel, to allegations that the army is not actually neutral, as you told me just a few minutes ago, but actually you are anti uh, Yang Lakshinawat's party, the Putai party, and that you were supportive of the coup that actually deposed her brother Taksin back in 2006? Uh, I... You know, completely deny, deny that accusation. I take this as the accusation to the army because what we have done in, in the country and what we have done to everyone uh, can prove that, you know, prove our, our impartiality. Well, we, there was a um, U.S. Our impartiality. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Colonel, but there was a U.S. diplomatic note that was released on the WikiLeaks website that uh, actually said that General Prayut did support the coup to depose Taksin. You believe the U.S. Um, statement. I don't know who you want to listen to. I am telling you about the stand of the Thai army and the stand of, um, the, the, um, uh, of the military as a whole. But you said that uh, you are listening to the statement given by the U.S. embassy. I don't know. You know, in, in that case, you can talk to the um, U.S. personnel from the U.S. embassy then. Okay, Colonel, I also wanted to ask you about the military in Thailand. 
and when you yes. are going to allow the Thai people to have access to international media and to the news, not just uh, government broadcasts that are brought by the army to the people? Well, it will be gradually released. Uh, right, uh, for, exa for example, yesterday we um, banned all of the um, TV stations. We, um, we deem that, you know, uh, sent out the information that perhaps uh, provoked the situation. And today we understand um, the implication. We can we discuss with the uh, provider that, okay, uh, if you uh, understand our intention, then you feel free to, to broadcast your program. And today we have the, the of course, uh, state television uh, broadcast as normal, and we consider uh, bit by bit to have everything back to normal. Colonel, we filmed protesters on the streets of Bangkok today. The army was there, but it didn't appear that there were any arrests. What is the situation? Are people allowed to gather on the streets and show their displeasure or their support as to what is happening at the moment? Um, we just want to, to uh, make it clear that even though the martial law allows us to, uh, I mean, uh, provide us with many sectors that we can uh, enforce, that we choose to enforce only the necessary sect, uh, section in in the I mean in the martial law act. We consider what necessary for uh, what necess what necessary to do. But something or some situation that we believe we can handle, we will deal with it uh, the other way. Colonel, I also wanted to ask you about uh, General Prayut and whether or not he is going to see the king this evening. Is that something that is definitely going to happen? And what will he be telling him? I don't think that I'm in Bangkok uh, until this, I mean, until late this evening. This evening, I mean, this late afternoon, he just had a meeting with the diplomat diplomatic community in Thailand, explain about the rationale behind his decision to take control over the administration and in Thailand. Regarding the the rumor, I can say, emphasize again, underline again that this is the rumor that General Pajuk uh, would go to uh, meet with the king. That is uh, completely. Uh, I mean, this is a rumor. There is a procedure that uh, he need to, um, you know, send a, a paperwork. I mean, a, a letter by. Uh, I mean, without going to see the king himself.